A lot of us were so busy and we don't have time to train people. A virtual assistant has been a game changer for us. The VA that I have, her name is Angela and we absolutely love her. Hi Tracy, oh, my name is Good Kathy. Morning. Good morning, so how are you today? I'm good, thank you. To start with, can you tell me about yourself? What industry are you in and what title do you have? And what does your day-to-day -day look like? I am a real estate agent with Compass. I have been in this this industry for 36 years and I am actually a team lead. I have had a team since 1990 and day to day is very different. There is no such thing as a traditional day. We show property, we talk to clients, we sort out problems. We have a lot of behind the scene things that need be done that most people have no idea what a typical real estate agent needs to do. So having a lot of help is extremely critical in our industry. Anybody that is an agent, especially an agent that works as what we call a solo agent, they really know what I'm talking about because a lot of times they have very little free time because the business takes up so much of their time. I've learned how to navigate through that by having a team. Through another Compass agent, getting a virtual assistant has been a game changer for us. What type of VA do you have right now? And how did you figure out what type you needed? First VA that I was given we just weren't a match and part of it was my fault because I didn't understand how to ask for the help that I needed a lot of us were so busy and we don't have time to train people the first VA that I had I made the mistake of not checking in on a regular basis with him to let him know what I needed he actually did a good job it just we weren't completely a match which was really nice because with your help and intervention you were able to help me line up with somebody that was was a better match and I became a better client to work with because I understood the value of regular check-ins with my VA because again of the time difference having scheduled time blocks really made a difference the other thing that was really critical for us is the VA that I have her name is Angela and we absolutely love her she is very self generating like so for instance she will take initiative and jump on the compass platforms and learn the compass tools when when her and I are talking, she'll guide me and say, Tracy, I just did this little work module. I think we need to focus on this. So she basically helps design how we're working, which is tremendous. The other thing that's really important, and I, this is probably a big plug for Compass, is this, we actually have marketing specialists and what they call agent experience managers. And the agent experience managers teach us how to use our toolbox. Well, they both have sessions with our virtual assistant, Angela. Angela knows how to work the tools that I need to use with Compass. There's this wonderful collaboration. I have this amazing team of people that make my team look bigger than it is. So Angela handles pretty much all of our social media. She's handling a lot of our marketing. And of course, the team has input, will approve what she puts out. And then Compass also makes sure that she stays compliant with what Compass branding is. There's just this tremendous collaboration that works seamlessly. I meet with my virtual assistant. Angela at least twice a week for a time block conversation and she is going to be actually meeting with my team members each one of them individually once a week to keep them on track having somebody with a designated job to get things done on a scheduled time frame it changes your life it actually buys you up more free time how would you rate your VA Angela like on a scale of 1 to 10 and why I would give it an 11 well. Angela again like I said Angela has been, she has a great attitude. She's very motivated and enthusiastic to work with the team. She collaborates with us. In my opinion, she's a full on team member, even though she's halfway around the world from us. <laughs> Angela does meet with us on Zoom calls in our team meetings. So she's interacting with me and the team at the same time. Everybody feels like they know her, they know how to get a hold of her. And I did want to tell you that it was huge help to us so that you helped 
helped us get Angela a Google Voice that we could text her as well as email because sometimes when we're in the field, being able to text somebody is so much more efficient. And the whole team knows Angela's hours. We know when we can text her and she gets right back to us and she really helps facilitate a lot. I recommend that they be responsible in getting a virtual assistant. And what I mean by being responsible is being able to guide their VA because they're not psychics. You need to be able to have a conversation with them a couple times a week to let them know what you need. And that I feel was my mistake the first time. I didn't communicate properly with the virtual assistant that I had. There was a lot of things like got missed. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to take the responsibility for that because that particular person didn't know what I needed and I didn't know how to ask for what I needed. The second time around, I've got somebody that is much more in tune with me. As a matter of fact, she's so in tune that when she posts thought for the day, if I didn't know better, I would have thought I chose that. She's in my head. She knows exactly what I'm thinking. She knows how I feel about certain things. She does a great job with my social posts and having her has freed up a lot more quality of life time for me. I can spend more time with my family. I can just do things I enjoy because I know all the work is getting done and I don't have to personally be doing all the work. Thank you so much, Tracy. I really appreciate your time today.